This is MDI TV. Half a century ago, when someone went to the hospital after having a heart attack, they were put in a dimly lit room, given morphine for pain and anxiety. They would stay in the hospital for weeks on a strict diet and instructed not to move too much. The idea was that if the heart didn't have to work very hard, it wouldn't need as much oxygen. The death rate was one in four. Now a heart attack patient is in the hospital for a couple of days. Doctors use 3D imaging to understand the heart. Advances in cardiology like angioplasty and stents, beta blockers and statins all significantly decrease the death rate from heart attacks. Tomorrow, the body may be able to reverse the damage of a heart attack with a dose of adult stem cells given through an IV. The first human trial of donor adult stem cells found in bone marrow called mesenchymal stem cells is getting cardiologists excited about that possibility. I think there's a huge application that has the potential to change um, not only how we treat disease, but how we really understand um, the hearing process. The controlled study run by cardiologist Joshua Hare tested the safety of prochymal, a mixture of mesenchymal cells on 53 patients who'd had a heart attack in the previous 10 days. The cell therapies seem to work even better than we had ever imagined they would. After six months, patients given an IV of stem cells showed improved heart and lung function with almost no side effects. And patients with more heart damage showed the biggest improvements. The whole field of, of cell-based therapies really opened our eyes dramatically. We started out by just looking for a, a cell that would repair or replace missing tissue. But we've in fact found that it, it, they are master regulators. They, they control inflammation, scar formation, they have immunologic properties. And so they appear to do a whole bunch of things that help an organ heal. But mesenchymal stem cells are not the answer yet. I mean, it's a very nice study. It's, um, it's very encouraging, but I think, again, we're early on in the process. So I think it'll be you know, several years before this becomes mainstream, and there'll be a lot more studies that are needed, both on a larger scale and different um, cell types. I think it's very exciting. I think the next five to ten years will, will be very exciting in terms of uh, what's revealed. Over that time, we'll see how much closer stem cell therapy will bring us to reducing the toll from the world's leading cause of death, heart disease.